For artists looking to make a decent living, Arizona is the place to work. As it turns out, our state is one of the top places for collectors to live. Cronkite News reporter Chloe Norquist went to the celebration of fine arts event in Scottsdale to find out how independent artists make money in the fine arts industry. The celebration of fine art provides a space for more than 100 independent artists to work in makeshift studios while displaying their work for art lovers. For many artists, an event like this helps them market their pieces. Kurt Madsen is working on a horse sculpture right here in his temporary studio at the Celebration of Fine Arts. Madsen is an independent, self-employed artist who focuses on the relationship between humans and horses. The Arizona artist sells works like this cowboy sculpture for just under $9,000. There's always a good market here. Like I say, it's one of the reasons we love Arizona. Arizona is one of Madsen's biggest markets. The biggest thing is all the great people you get to meet that come from everywhere because the state does a wonderful job of promoting uh, people to come here. Arizona has the highest annual mean wage in the nation for full-time fine artists at $95,000 a year, according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics. However, when including the community of independent artists like Matson, the state ranks 15th for average income, according to the Arizona Commission of the Arts. Events like Celebration of Fine Arts aims to help these artists. The strength of Arizona's art business is just growing stronger all the time, and we do have a great national reputation. Collectors can connect directly with the artists and have an, a very unique experience where they can watch them at work and ask them the questions about how they do what they do and what inspires them. Artists like Marilyn Stevens come from out of state to sell her art in the Arizona market. Our sales have always been real consistent and pretty um, solid, so that keeps us coming back. There's just such a greater volume of people down here. Stevens says being in Arizona in the winter allows her to sell her work during a time of year that art isn't selling in other states. There's just a lot more hunger for art down here. The Celebration of Fine Art is open daily from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. until March 27th. In the Broadcast Center, Chloe Nordquist, Cronkite News.